Dadara. I'm from Amsterdam. The name of the piece is Checkpoint Dream Utopia. It's a border control checkpoint to enter your own dreams. So it's a very real thing. We have a watchtower, barbed wire, guards on duty, immigration forms, passports. But it's, uh, I mean, it's kind of very serious and totally ridiculous at the same time. I really, really wanted to go this year to Burning Man. And then I saw the theme, American Dream, and I went like, this is so lame. I'm, I'm European, you know. It almost made me go like, I'm not going there anymore. So it started out as like the worst theme possible and I think it's from all the years I went it's the absolute best theme because it's kind of provocative and I didn't want to go like pro-American, anti-American, I thought those would be really like boundaries, like kind of jails. So I wanted to take the idea just as a starting point and then add my own twist onto it. This is Checkpoint Dream Utopia. Do you have any idea on you? In the middle of nowhere, we're wandering around, and suddenly someone in a pink army outfit accosts us. It definitely takes you to a different headspace. A lot of my art always gets its inspiration in real life. Four years ago in Chicago, I entered the United States and got whisked off to the special department. Got interrogated for, I don't know how, it's a very small room, they videotape you. And then after an hour of interrogation, the guy goes, you know, if you're going to tell me any small lie, even this small whatsoever, I'll make sure you'll end up in prison. And after that, we'll kick you back to your own country. After a while, it started to become interesting for me to notice the whole psychology behind the questioning. I was told I'm in dire need of a form. Have I been arrested or convicted of any thought crime or dream offense, even though being surreal, imaginary, or subject of a pardon or amnesty? I just tend to like ridiculize it or take it over the top. You're trying to make trouble here? We are drawing the line between dreams and reality. Sorry, you're not allowed to smoke. So you're, it's actually oh, hers. You need to yeah, it <laughs> we want to know what utopia means for you. If you think utopia does exist, what you intend to do while living in your dream world. And then if they go through that, they'll get into interrogation. Sir, hands, hands against the wall. Why are you here? I'm an imposter. Are you a troublemaker? What's your passport number? 78-4-A Pi. I don't think you're ready for this. Are you trying to be funny, sir? It's up to your decision. We're gonna end, uh, give you a single single entry visa. I think you deserve it. Thank you. I will cherish this journey. As much as you know that it's a little cardboard cutout, opening a bright yellow door and seeing like pitch blackness on the other side is actually pretty cool. <laughs> You're in Dreamland, you open this door and suddenly there's nothing in a tiny little bar. You, you get it for a couple seconds. Basically, before and after is the same. You're still in the open playa. But the thing is that something in your mind should be different, that maybe you will have given some thoughts to what your dreams are. I think as long as people just live their dreams, whatever their dreams is, and I mean, I don't have to be happy for them, but I think as long as they're happy with it, that's great. I just think too many people are living like their role in society instead of their dreams.